the East Anglian landscape that inspired Edward Sego. His paintings made him one of the most popular artists of his generation and a favourite of the royal family and celebrities of the age. His work has left a lasting impression on a generation of painters. But these pictures are not by Sego himself, but by the Suffolk artist Miles Fairhurst, whose father was also a Norfolk painter and an art dealer who handled some of Sego's work. Miles has made a study of Sego's landscape painting techniques in oils, and in this DVD, he reveals how some of Sego's favorite motifs might just have been painted. I'd like to paint something that Sego painted many times in many different forms, and it's basically a loke or a country lane. There's always a, a tree that's the major feature, and he would add sometimes a haystack to the left or a couple of cows going through the loke. And I've seen, I think, probably five or six versions that he's done. But it doesn't actually exist. It's more a painting from Seagoland, a made up sort of artistic landscape that suits his purposes and mine. At the moment, I'm just putting the paint on the board without any strict plan, but I can always go back over it again and sort it out later. At the moment, I'm just adjusting the surfs so it looks a little more convincing. Moving it around, overpainting, breaking up straight lines making sure I've got the perspective right. Warms next to cools always look rather nice. This is a, a painting that Sego painted many times, um, pretty much out of his imagination, but it's made up of a, a mix of what he's remembered and seen. This is a, a lesson, really. You don't have to be a slave to the landscape. You can paint what you want and rearrange it how you would like it and hopefully produce a picture that you like. <laughs>